How does the orbital rearrangement of DNA work in relation to time travel? Allegedly, by combining the telomeres at the ends of DNA strands with superconductive monoatomic elements, and then running a high enough voltage current of electricity through these, one can accelerate the superconductors to relativistic speeds, causing them to disappear in a brief flash of white light. According to this premise, when these superconductive monoatomic elements are electrified in this way, they only seem to disappear to us below the speed of light. But in reality, they enter hyperspace, a realm visible exclusively above light speed. This hyperspace realm being outside of space means that it is also means that it is also beyond time and therefore eternal. So assuming that by applying orbitally rearranged monoatomic elements to one's DNA in this manner, and then producing a large enough personal electromagnetic field charge, an individual can enter hyperspace and thus step outside of time, then theoretically they would be able to step back into time at any point along its perennial stream. Lawrence Gardner put forth this proposition, put forth the proposition that this may have happened to the person of Jesus during the crucifixion. <laughs>